It is written and declared that God is so much merciful. He has so much power. He can do anything as He like. He can create lakhs and lakhs words like this in a second. And He can also destroy the whole world but not killing anyone.
एंड ही इज है तो कि कॉज लेस मर्सीफुल वी आर पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ गॉड वी हैव फॉर गट इन हिम एंड कैम टू वी हैव कम टू दिस वर्ल्ड दिस वर्ल्ड इज वेरी मेजरेबल मेजरेबल एंड हियर इफ यू वॉन्ट आर नॉट यू विल हैव टू डाई वी हैव टू बी ओल्ड वेदर वी वॉन्ट आर नॉट सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स विल कम coming a beautiful girl a beautiful boy after some days he becomes old if a rock comes cancer or anything like this he cannot be survived will have to die there is no certainty that in boyhood or in young age or in old age we will die hmm? only god knows he controls all so god is always merciful and he wants that all are like his son his eternal friends or son they should realize me and serve me and they should be happy forever for this sometime he sends very powerful associates and they are called messenger son or acharya or guru receptors also receptors and if he is realizes that they cannot do so well that in any form he descends from the spiritual world transcendental world he when he defends in this world we see him but we cannot realize that he is god supreme personality of god head we think that oh he is like us a man but a realized person devotee is may realize because devotees are also transcendental so god wants to uh, he descends out of his mercy to help all who are now has become foolish like ignorant now you will think that we are this physical body and we want to be happy by this physical body but this physical body is perishable not eternal and there are so many problems in this body so we cannot be happy in this body so god descends and wants to make their heart and mind and everything transcendental so he can transcendently serve him if a man does not become transcendental he cannot serve transcendental krishna or supreme personality of god head so we should try to follow his instructions even a drunkard a prostitute very foolish god can change their mind and shower his mercy to them because he descend only for this out of pity out of his pity 
even we see that those they don't they don't wanted to admit god taking so much wine drugs always busy in lust anyhow god gave his mercy to them and they became very religious person they were totally changed such a uh what mercy mercy no manifestation of god came uh, himself god supreme personality of god came in a shape of man but we should realize that he did not descend in a shape of man because the god has eternal shape transcendental shape hmm? in bible it has been written god created man after his own image in bible also it has been written hmm? yeah in quran 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 inna ala kam khalaka man surati that khuda apne roop ke anusar जीवों को बनाया खुदा अल्लाह ही क्रिएटेड मैन आफ्टर हिज ओन इमेज सेम एंड इन ऑल्सो बेदा सत्य व सम्य इदम अग्र आशित एंड वी नो दैट इवन जीसस जीसस क्राइस्ट he has told that i am son of god he was son of god and that is why he is called jesus christ why i know there are so many proofs so many proofs that in his boyhood young age he went to india and he went to varanasi where so many teachers of monism used to live there practice so much no? so he was somewhat influenced by them that god has no shape but when he went to puri jagannath puri on the sea shore in india very famous place puri jagannath puri and there he was so much uh, influenced by jagannath whose name is krishna hmm? from krishna in latin language it comes krishna 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 in latin and in greek krishna krishna hmm? a little change and in in english christ christ same thing these words are same krishna 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 and then christ same thing no different so he is son of christ means son of krishna son of krishna no ho that is i in bible it has been said so god has say very transcendental very beautiful say and all powers are invested in him very wonderfully he has so many powers and in that powers there is a mercy there if god has no mercy then we cannot worship him so we worship him and by worshiping him and his name is also very powerful what hallowed be, be thy name thy name, thy name. Hmm? very powerful hmm? if we chant his name that is christ krishna hmm? our heart will be transcendent and gradually we will come over 
birth, death, sorrows and suffering. Now, it is we are like hogs, pigs, like animals. Always in lust. Whatever we do, do to test anything. Woman wants to test male, male wants to test females. And after that there is that. And if not rejecting, after that it will be rejected. So we are not animal. We should try to realize that in this body there is a soul, part of, parcel of Godhead. And that power and parcel has saved so much good qualities, love and affection. If you are not loving Krishna or the Supreme Personality of God, you are bound to love dogs. Because this is opposite to God. If you are not loving God, then you are bound to love dogs. dogs. So, huh? if you are not loving God, then to God and dogs, oh, always doing like this, decorating here. And if one head becomes white, then you try to take it. <laughs> and if whole or half, then how do you do? <laughs> After that color all will be like, so discolor. <laughs> hmm? So, we have love and affection here. Hmm? But if you are not loving God here, then you are bound to love anything. Your body, male or female, hmm? By constitution of soul, anyone is not f male or female. But it is very wonderful that only by the coverings, by the cloths, oh, we try to test each other. Very wonderful thing. Hmm? So we should try to realize all these things. So, Supreme Personality of Godhead sometimes senses associates to help us to be out of this illusory maya and sometimes he descend himself. So five hundred years before the same God descended himself with his all associate and he by his kirtan, by his melody of Kirtan, singing the name, uttering of the name. He helped so many these jivas, living entity. Then very soon, in one life, they were promoted to very pure devotees and they went to so, uh, transcendental world. So we can tell one pastime of that Godhead. That there were two drunkards, always drinking. There was not any sin that they were not accustomed to do. They used to go to prostitutes, they used to kill so many animals, taking eggs, flesh, opium, and always just struggling and fighting. fighting with others. They used to live in a very big town. The civilized person were afraid to go by that road where they used to live. Always drinking, doing so ferocious things. So all were very afraid of this. Their name was Jagai and Madhai. How they were liberated, you should try to you should tell something about it.
হরিনামের মালা হরিনামের মালা So Maharaj has asked me to speak something we'll try I'm not very conversant with this story so I'll try and speak the best I can so as Maharaj has mentioned 500 years ago um, Krishna he appeared in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu what is it? he should come here? he's coming he should come here So 500 years ago, Krishna, he appeared in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And, as Maharaj has mentioned, and has stated, that this form of Krishna, this manifestation of Krishna, actually he's Krishna himself, but he is the most merciful, most magnanimous, and most munificent form of the Lord. And he came with his associates. One such associate, his name is Nityananda. If we look over here on this side, on the um, far corners, you have the deity figures. On this side, there's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and on the next, next to him is Lord Nityananda. So they are none different from Krishna and Balaram in the spiritual world. And they descend in this form 500 years ago. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he would perform Kirtan, which is chanting of the holy names of the Lord, with his associates. So he gathered his associates and he gave them instruction. He said, I want you to go door to door to people's homes and I want you to beg alms from them. But what were the alms that he asked? He said, I want you to beg from them that they should just please chant the holy names of Krishna, that they should worship Krishna and they should follow the instructions that Krishna has given as in Bhagavad Gita. So, He had his different associates, they went off in parties. And Nityananda, Lord Nityananda, he went off with another associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called Haridas Thakur. Now Haridas Thakur, he was quite um, old in age. And Nityananda, he was much younger. But Nityananda, he's known as um, Nityananda Abadut. Though he is um, at the topmost level of spiritual realization, He is actually God Himself, appearing, as Maharaj has explained, appearing as a human being. But actually, He is descending from the spiritual world. And He would act in very, um, to the common man, He would act in a very strange way. But yeah, these activities that he would, he would perform, that they were influenced due to His internal state. Can you go like this? So these, um, he would act in strange ways, but actually this was influenced by internal states of ecstasy. For instance, in the town where they lived, in Navadweep, um, flowing is the Ganges River. I think most of us have heard of the Ganges River. And Nityananda would be going with Haridas Thakur, And influenced by high ecstasies of love of God, he would jump into the Ganges River and he would swim so quickly towards a crocodile and then go right for the mouth of the crocodile and start wrestling in the Ganga with the crocodile. And Haridas would look completely bewildered and amazed and say, Nittai, Nittai, what are you doing? Nittai, stop! And then next minute Nittai would just um, act as if he had been bitten by the crocodile and he just started flowing, floating down the Ganges River as if he was dead. Other times, he would, um, he would, they would go knocking on people's doors and when the householder would come to his door, then Nittai would jump through the window and as the person was looking at Haridas, then Nityananda would just jump at his feet and grab his feet and beg, please, Chant the name of Krishna, worship Krishna, please follow his instructions. So, Nityananda, Lord Nityananda, he was performing all these outrageous activities, and Haridas Thakur, he was um, thinking, um, why is, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has teamed me with Lord Nityananda, I can't keep up with his crazy activities. So, they were going down, and There was a place where Jagai and Madai, they stayed. And then the Navdrik Basis, the residents of Navdrik, 
they warned them, they said, no, don't go to this place, because over there is living Jagai and Madai. So Jagai and Madai, they, they were brought up from a very aristocratic um, Brahmin family. It means they were brought up in a very priestly, um, religious family. But they had um, turned to very simple activities, as was mentioned, they um, engaged in all sorts of nefarious activities, drinking alcohol, um, smoking, um, gambling, gambling, prostitution, rape. In fact, it stated that they engaged in so many illicit activities that the secretary of Yamaraj, Yamaraj is a person, the demigod, when one leaves the body, um, all the sinful activities that one has done, then he takes account. And is taken account by his secretary called Chitragupta. So Chitragupta, he became so bewildered that he could not keep up with all the sinful activities that were performed by Jagai and Madan. Even if he had a very high power computer like our friend over there, <laughs> Sridham Saka, he would not be able to... In fact, his computer would just explode. So, um, Nityananda, he was thinking that, no, because my Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's come to deliver the most fallen people in this age. And if he goes, and if through Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Jagai and Madai are delivered, then his name will be spread throughout. So, not heeding to the um, instructions or advice of the local people, then he started to go with Haridas, and Haridas was following him, wondering what's going to happen next. So they went up, and Nityananda, very humbly, he um, and Jaga and Mare, they were drunk. They were completely drunk. They, they were always drunk, actually. They were just kind of swerving from side to side, and their eyes were red and just rolling around in the, in the sockets of their eyes. And Nityananda, he said, Please, chant the name of Krishna. I beg you, just chant the name of Krishna. Please, One time Krishna. even. Hmm? One time even. One time. Yes. He said, Please, just chant one name of Krishna. And then these drunkards, they just, they couldn't, their eyes couldn't really focus, and they were just looking. And they said, what? Get out of here! And then they, go, they were going to chase Nittai. And Nittai and Harry dance. Immediately, they just started running. Then Nittai, Nittai was quite young, and very strong, energetic, athletic, and he just kind of high-stepped it. And he was gone. And Harry dance, was um, old, and he was lagging behind, and he was panting, and he, he just said, what are you doing? So after every day, they would have to go and report to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu of the different activities. So they went, and... What became after? They began to follow, running quickly to... So, so they were running, I can explain, I don't know the story very well. <laughs> so they were running, they were running after um, Nityananda and Haridas, and they went through some alleyway. some alleyway and some corners, and in this way they just narrowly escaped yes. um, Jagai and Madai. And panting, Haridas Thakur, he went with Nityananda, and they went to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. First they went to... Advaita Acharya. Then they went to um, Advaita Acharya and Haridas Thakur, he said, Oh, what kind of person am I going out with? And Nityananda, he, his desire was that Jagan Mada, that they become saved by this, um, and they get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Advaita Acharya, he said, because Nityananda, he has desired this, then it must happen. Is that right? Okay, go on. Then after, <laughs> then after they went to um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, first Advaita Acharya told, from where you are coming running and how you are bathing. Breathing so hard. So what? Then Haridhar Thakur told, I was with Nityananda this, met Nityananda. <laughs> And he went to a mad person, and now they were quickly following us to be beat or Jesus. to kill us. Anyhow, we have escaped. Then Adwaita thought, I know 
the dunkers. Ah, Why you are associating with this mad Nityananda? And you will be beaten by them. By associating with Nityananda, you will be beaten. Ah. I know that one day, very quickly, one very bad, um, big mad uh, Chaitanya and second Nityananda and third two, all will sit together and they will drink so much wine and they all will be mad, I know. Then Haridas Thakur told, Oh Prabhu, don't betray me. I know that Nityananda Prabhu is Lord. He has come to sprinkle His mercy. So if Nityananda Prabhu has desired that they should be come out of Maya and they should be pure, then I know that they have become pure. Only some formality, eh? formality is there to be done. Otherwise they are. Liberty. Don't betray. Me. Then they went to Nityananda to then go. You sure you don't want to finish? Oh, you so. <laughs> so they went to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and they reported the news to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as was their daily, their daily occurrence, and. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also he was recognizing that because Lord Nityananda here desired, then definitely Jaga and Mada that they would be saved. So then they went again, and during this time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates they would perform Harinam Sankirtan in the house of Srivas Thakur. They would perform Sankirtan from um, evening, six, seven o'clock in the evening and it will go right on to the wee hours of the morning, um, even up to dawn. And at that time then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates, they will go to the Ganges and they will take their morning bath. So during this time when they were performing such ecstatic kirtan, um, Jagai and Madai, they would be in a distant place drinking their alcohol, completely drunk. But in that drunken stupor, they would hear the chanting coming from the house of Srivas Thakur. And just by hearing this chanting, it was creating some um, very auspicious um, effect for them. So this is why we see that devotees, they go out um, with drums, cartels, and they're chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Bhakti Sukriti is giving pious devotion, pious credits to people. That even imperceptibly, people they don't understand what is the chanting. Even they may not like the chanting. They may even abuse the devotees. But the effect of the sound is going, just like medicine. One may not know um, the potency of medicine, but they take medicine and the effect will be there. So in this way, Jaga and Madai, they were in the drunken state. They were hearing this chanting. And they were thinking, what is this stupid noise going on here? Uh, and they were even abusing. But still, the holy name was going and it was having some effect. So Nittai, he was still undeterred. That if he had made up his mind that he would go and um, preach and give mercy to Jagai Madai. And though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is so merciful. Nityananda Prabhu is, it can even be said that he is even more merciful than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, and his desire is there, so his desire is good as reality. Um, so, they tried again. Nityananda Prabhu, he went, and um, imploring Jagai Madai, he asked him, please chant the holy name of Krishna. And Jagai Madai again, they were completely drunk, they weren't even standing, they were just rolling on the ground, and then Madai, he picked up an earthen pot, and he said, get out of here! Boom! He threw it, and hit Nityananda right on the head with the pot, and then blood started to ooze out. So Haridas was aghast. 
they got up and and again he wanted to <coughs> and he wanted to hit him again okay. and at this time his friend um jagai he was becoming a little bit sober he said stop stop what are you doing this is a saintly person please do not do any more and then he stopped madai but somebody who had seen this immediately went to the spot where Chaitanya Mah Mahaprabhu was with his devotees performing kirtan and then he, he told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that Lord Nityananda, Nitai, he'd been hit and, and that he was in, he, blood was profusely coming from his head. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu hearing this, immediately he became um, furious, so angry like a lion and immediately um, he, with his chakra, Krishna, he has for demoniac personalities, then he has his weapons, um, a disc, a Sudasan chakra, and a club. So, did he call chakra? Yes. So, he called chakra, and immediately his Sudasan chakra came, <coughs> and he just started running to the scene. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is very, very tall, and he was just like a golden flash just streaking down and Jaga and Madai they were still in their drunken state and as he was streaking down with the chakra and then Jaga and Madai they saw him immediately they were stunned just in their tracks they just like froze and their their um, drunkenness immediately just went away as they saw death personified coming they saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they saw that now our death is imminent so as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he came closer with the chakra and he was about to just release it on, on the two brothers, then Nittai, he said, no, Ma, stop, stop. <laughs> Actually, Jagai, he saved me. He protected me. He said, because when um, Madai was going to hit me again, then Jagai, he stopped them from hitting me. And also, Chaitanya Ma, he explained to Mahaprabhu that you've come in this age not to kill the demons, that in previous ages that you came, and you kill the demoniac personalities. But in this age, you haven't come to kill demoniac personalities, but rather you've come to um, kill the demonic propensities which are within. Because in this age of Kali, this is called the age of Kali, the age of quarrel and hypocrisy, that practically, that most, a large percentage of the population, they engage in sinful activities. And if you were to kill, then you practically have to kill everybody. So then, Hearing that Jagai had actually protected his Nittai, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's heart, it's melted. And his heart melting with compassion that Jagai had been so um, compassionate, he saw, to his, to his dear, dear one, Nittai, then immediately he picked up Jagai and embraced him. Then embracing Jagai, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he transferred um, his ecstasy of love directly into the heart of Jagai and Jagai started to feel states of ecstasy and he started to cry and weep feeling repentance and falling down at the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Seeing all of this, Madai who was right next to him, he said, how about me? How about me? <laughs> Seeing his, his, his compatriot so um, now turned from, from a drunken um, um, rascal um, now manifesting states of love of God. He said, please. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, no. He said, but we've done everything together. We've raped together. We've, we've, we've plundered together. We've, we've gambled together. We've drunk together. We've done everything together. So if you give him love of God, then why not me? And now he became eager for love of God. Then Chaitanya said, no, I cannot. He said, because... You have offended my Nittai. And Nittai, he's more dear to me than my very self. So, teaching is, a teaching is there that for oneself, a devotee will not take offense. But if another devotee is offended, then that devotee will act like fire. Just as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came and he manifested the qualities, his most important teachings, were Trinada Pisunichena, Tarori Vasarishtana, Amanna Manadena, Ketanyaksa Dahari. One should chant the holy names of the Lord in a humble state of mind. 
One should be more tolerant than the tree. One should not expect respect from others. One should give respect to all and not expect any respect from others. And one should always chant the holy names of the Lord in such a humble state of mind. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, he showed in his life how he was so humble, even though he was mistreated in so many ways, he never, he always tolerated all situations. But when Nityananda was, a, was mistreated, then he became so angry. And he said that, no, I cannot forgive you. That only if you go to Nitai, huh, then he can forgive you. So then, Madai, immediately, he approached the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. And because Lord Nityananda, he's so merciful, he's so kind-hearted, he's so compassionate, he takes no offense at all, then immediately, without any hesitation, then Lord Nityananda, he embraced him very lovingly and bestowed his mercy on him. So then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, with all his devotees there, then he gave some more instructions. He said that all of you should now understand that Jagai and Madai, that now, because they've repented for their activities, because in this age of Kali, we're born performing so many sinful activities. As Maharaj has said, that from birth practically, we don't know um, what is sinful and what is not sinful. Uh, we may have some kind of idea according to our different cultures, but from um, the <coughs> absolute spiritual perspective, then we do not really know. And unknowingly, we perform so many sinful activities. But here, Daga Madai, they repented. So, regardless what one has done, but if one approaches... And they promise one, that from today, we will never drink, never smoke, not doing any bad activities, we are promising. And from today, we will chant always Krishna. We will purify the ghat, and we will respect all. Hmm? And thus they became pure and they became devotees. Hmm? Here what is the hidden instruction? Can you tell something? What is the hidden instruction in, behind this pastime? That The transcendental name of transcendental Supreme Personality of Godhead is more merciful than Himself. Personally He can liberate and He can sprinkle His mercy to few, few persons, but by name Name is so merciful, so powerful, that even a drunkard, even a lusty person, even gamblers, having so much disqualities, and if they will chant, this name will purify his heart, and they will realize themselves and God, and after some time, in so many births, they may be uh, so much theory for that they will be engaged in service of Supreme Personality of Godhead. Here there is instruction that by chanting name of holy name, it may take so many long process. But we see here in the past times of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, that we realize the mercy of Supreme Personality of Godhead and His associate. They can do in a moment. They can take anyone who is drunker, who is so nonsense, like animals, but they can purify in one life up to stage of prem. We see that there are so many sages, holy persons. In so many lives they are promoted to praying. 
बट चैतन्य महाप्रभु मर्सीफुली एंड नित्यानंद प्रभु मर्सीफुली ही प्रोमोटेड इन वन लाइफ जगाई मधाई दर सो मच ड्रंकर ओफेंडर ऑलवेज कटिंग एनिमल्स डूइंग सो मच ब्रोटल एक्टिविटीज बट चैतन्य महाप्रभु गेव स्पेंकल्ड हिज मर्सी टू टेक देम एट द स्टेज ऑफ लव एंड अफेक्शन प्रेम श्रद्धा निष्ठा रुचि अशक्ति भाव ही गैलेप्ट ऑल दीज थिंग्स नो ही हैड नॉट टू डू एनी एसोसिएशन वो नथिंग एल्स he promoted them at once from where he has not to go in the process that first sadhu sang association of holy persons then initiation from guru and serving guru and taking some instruction, instruction and following instruction <coughs> and then shraddha श्रमण कीर्तन स्मरण बंदन पाल सेवन एंड ऑल डूइंग एंड आफ्टर दैट श्रद्धा विल कम इन टू निष्ठा एंड निष्ठा फ्रॉम निष्ठा इट विल कम समरुचि एंड इट मे टेक हंड्रेड वर्स टू कम फ्रॉम निष्ठा टू रुचि एंड फ्रॉम रुचि टू अशक्ति इट मे ऑल्सो कैन टेक सो मेनी वर्स एंड फ्रॉम अशक्ति it is very very rare persons that in so many births they can reach up to the stage of but he what became like a miracle hmm? there was no more association in one one birth he was promoted, promoted to prem prem at once galloping all the stages so this is mercy on elvaid mercy or causeless, causeless mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu it is hidden in this the devotees of chaitanya mahaprabhu they can promote by the association like nar promoted balmiki and how glorious and strong is the powerful the mercy of god Hmm? and how merciful and powerful the power of hari naam hmm? the name of holy name of lord that even a holy person like agastya in india while he took the name of krishna and he took whole water of whole ocean in world and whole vessels were like dry have you heard this agast did it so anyone can do anything by the power majestic power of harina if anyone wants anything worldly desire oh very quickly it will fulfill but he will not grab give love and affection to krishna supreme personality of god if one anyone wants to be liberated from this world from sufferings death and birth like this chain oh very quickly by chanting name not name by chanting the semblance sub semblance semblance of name he will be liberated from this world and if he is chanting pure name in the association of very qualified vaishnavas then he will have love and affection and love and affection he can serve god like friends like son like beloved so we should chant hari name we should chant the holy name of god one thing is there also very important in this world now it is so much pollution is going on in every way like air is polluted now water so much even the sea water ocean water is now 
so much fishes are now dying and if anyone is taking eating that these fishes they become so much sick sick so many diseases comes you cannot imagine so everywhere water is polluted air is polluted hmm? everything is polluted now whole world all these scientists hmm? intelligent person are so much worry for this hmm? one day the whole water of sea may be turned into poison whole air whole water can be like so also world is now going to be polluted by words ether eh? the ether will also ether <coughs> so when you will chant the very powerful name of holy lord it purifies whole ether and whole whole uh, world atmosphere atmosphere of the whole world like if he will a uh, throw, throw a, stone. a stone in the pond, pond. Uh, the webs will come and in round they will touch all the corners everywhere in the pond, pond. and it they will touch all the webs will touch the bank everywhere so these words what we are uttering hmm? oh you should kill oh and bad words always quarreling these are politing all at smear and if anyone is chanting holy name hari krishna hari krishna or any name of powerful god then what it will do it will purify very soon <coughs> everywhere the sound will go and touch all parts of the world ether and it will purify and if this holy name was not uttered by devotees here and there then i think that world has been destroyed but only by the power of majestic power and wonderful power of these names o oh, we are shaped sometimes um, scientists they forecast that a war is going to be done so many constellations are going to be in auspicious in auspicious and they will crush whole world um only one month before uh, they have forecasted that so many constellations are going to be fight each other and whole world will be damaged no? so but how we are shaped only by the wonderful power of holy name we the boat is are uttering in collective way or only alone so this is so powerful so we should have a strong faith in name of god whether are doing something or nothing daily in morning you should try to chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram if you cannot chant only krishna only no oh god i am yours i am sending myself in your lotus feet be merciful to us this prayer the singing of uttering of name don't want any single farthing no energy you can do in night day you can day in your do on your bed at this time of sleeping at the time of walking hmm? so in any way you can chant this pure name and it will purify your heart and you will realize that you are happy hmm? you know that what you are collecting in your whole life you cannot take a single farthing or anything of this world you cannot take you will have to go empty hand and your body also you cannot take so try to do 
this very powerful land. Also we can tell another story about this. There was a prostitute. She was told to by any king that you should try to make these devotees fall down. If the king wanted to give his half kingdom to that prostitute. But how she was changed? Very wonderful story. Oh, you should tell. Of Haridas Thakur and that. Okay, after this, after this, what will be a play? Oh, yeah. Yes. Who? Ah, oh, he should be ready. <coughs> so, Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak something about the deliverance of the prostitute who came to bring about the fall down of Namacharya Srila Haridas Thakur. About um, Something more than 500 years ago in Bengal, there was a great devotee. He had taken birth in the family of uh, Mohammedans, in a Muslim family. Yet, Tishem Haddas, who was with Nityananda. Yes, in the previous story, this hired as Thakur, who was with Nityananda. So from his young age, he was always chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Therefore, even though he was born in an abominable birth, uh, in a family of uh, meat eaters, then still he was completely pure, because this is the potency of the name of God. If anyone chants the name of God, then he is considered to be completely purified by the power of the name of God. So, Haridas Thakur, because he was a devotee of the Lord, then all of the wonderful qualities of the Lord were present in the personality of Haridas Thakur. And therefore, he was loved by everyone. He was so popular in the society. So at that time, there was one king. His name was Ramachandra Khan. This Ramachandra Khan, he was very proud and he wanted to be so famous and loved by everyone and he would give charity and do so many things in order to secure his own prestige. But he could see that this Haridas Thakur, he is the, uh, so popular with all the people but he doesn't give them anything. How is this? Hmm? So he thought, well, I cannot tolerate this. Why are they giving all respect to him? They should give, he's just a, a useless person. He's just a sadhu, like a parasite in society. He doesn't do anything. Uh, but I am helping so many people. I am so important. They should respect me. So he wanted to make a plan whereby the fame, the reputation of Haridas Thakur would be completely ruined. So at that time, in his kingdom, there was one prostitute who was so astonishingly beautiful. If any man saw her, then his mind would be captured. And he called this prostitute and he told her, I will give you half of my kingdom if you can do one thing. What is that? You should go there to the Bhajan Kutir of Haridas Thakur. And you should, uh, when you go there, then you should try to seduce him. And then immediately I will come there with my soldiers and we will catch him and then the whole world will know that actually he is not a great personality at all. <coughs> and then they will no longer respect him. So then she said to the king, Yes, I will carry out this, but you should allow me to in enjoy uh, uh, with uh, Haridas Thakur first, and then you should come afterwards. So the king agreed, and the prostitute, very late at night, she went to the Bhajan Kutir of Haridas Thakur. So Haridas Thakur, his sadhan and bhajan was astonishing. He would chant every day, not less than three lakhs Harinam. That means... And it takes... How much it takes time? 
It w- it takes um, twenty about twenty three hours. Yes. To chant three lakhs Hari Nam, that means to chant three hundred thousand names of Krishna. It takes about twenty three hours. So he would chant constantly, day and night, hmm? sitting in one place, very still, with Tulsi Devi there, and chanting the name of Krishna and remembering his divine pastimes, always absorbed and also chanting with such feelings of love for Krishna. So he would chant almost constantly and then a little time he would take a little to eat and take a little rest, except for sometimes when his mood was particularly high, then he would also forget to eat and forget to sleep also, uh, and just always chanting, chanting. <coughs> so that prostitute, she uh, bathed herself and decorated herself in the most alluring dress and ornaments and very late at night she came there to that solitary place where Haridas Thakur was sitting alone and chanting the holy names and coming before him uh, she began to <coughs> present many alluring postures to capture his mind and say oh Sadhu you are so young you are so beautiful and handsome uh, we should enjoy together and therefore we'll discover great happiness Haridas Thakur said oh certainly I will, I will definitely satisfy your desires, but I haven't finished my prescribed number of rounds. Every day I chant a fixed number, so you please, you just sit down quietly here, and when I finish, then definitely I'll satisfy your desire. So then she sat down and waited, and had us talk was chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Chanting and chanting, one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, the, and then the sun started to rise, and she thought, oh, now the morning has come, I should leave this place. Mm-hmm. So Haridas Thakur, he apologized, he said, oh, please forgive me, but I have to finish my prescribed number of rounds of chanting Hare Krishna, so I could not finish today, but if you come tomorrow, then definitely I will finish, and I will satisfy you. Mm-hmm. So then the prostitute, she went away, and the next night she dressed herself most elegantly again, and came uh, to the... Uh, Bhajan Kutir of Haridas Thakur. And he said, Yes, I've almost finished, just please sit down here. And then he be- <coughs> carried on chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, like this. And somehow or other, she was sitting and hearing his chanting. And by the power of his chanting, this vibration is so transcendentally pure. If it goes in the ear of anyone and touches their heart, their hearts can be completely turned, changed. So even though she was a very sinful person, by hearing for some hours this names of God from the lips of a pure devotee, the potency was such that automatically, without her desire, that name started to come up from her heart and dance on her tongue also. She was sitting there and she found herself chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, along with Haridas Thakur. And then again, the sun was about to rise and the morning came. And she had not uh, managed to uh, distract his mind even for one moment from its uh, constant service of Krishna. So then she went back and the king was saying, Hey, what's going on? Uh, why why you ha- haven't you seduced him? She said, Don't worry. Give me one more chance. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Tonight I will be successful. So then the next night she went there and she sat down by Haridas Thakur and he said, Yes, Surely, I will satisfy you. And then he began chanting. This time, her heart became so pure. The feeling came, Oh, what am I doing? Truly, he is a sadhu. He is a pure devotee of the Supreme Lord. And yet, I have come here on the order of the king to bring some uh, ill fate, some downfall in his life. I am so wretched and sinful. So feeling very deep remorse in her heart. She approached Haridas Thakur and fell at his feet and said, O oh Sadhu, O oh Mahatma, please forgive me. Then she said, You should know that actually I have come here to make you fall down, to make you break your vow and give up your service at the lotus feet of the Lord, because I was sent here by the king. Haridas Thakur, he's a pure devotee. And actually, the pure devotee of Krishna. He knows Krishna. And therefore, because he knows Krishna, who is the sum and bonum of all existence, automatically he knows everything. So then he admitted to the prostitute, Oh, my dear 
uh, daughter, I already knew. From the moment I saw you, I knew why you were here. I knew who had sent you and all of these things. But simply to purify you, I asked you to stay here and listen to the holy name. So now your heart has been changed. Your heart has been purified. So then the prostitute said, But I have committed such a great offense at your lotus feet. I don't know what I can do to become free from this. So then Haridas Thakur, he said, You should go to your home and you have so many, so many costly ornaments and jewelry and very beautiful clothes and so much money that you have made from your activities of prostitution. You should take all of these things and you should distribute them in charity to everyone. Then taking very simple white cloth. One. Only one. Only one. Very simple <coughs> white cloth. <coughs> then you should come here and you should sit in one place and worship Tulsi Devi. Yeah, Tulsi Devi is here. You should worship Tulsi Devi every day by offering some drops of water. And you should pray to her for her mercy. And you should constantly chant the names Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So then the prostitute, because she was completely changed, she gave up all of her sinful ways. She gave away all of the wealth she had earned by prostitution. And sitting in one place, she took complete shelter of the names of Krishna under the guidance of Haridas Thakur. And overnight, she became so famous that... Haridas Thakur, saying this, he went to other place. See, seeing this, Haridas Thakur then, he left that place. The prostitute was left there chant, uh, chanting and Haridas Thakur left that place. He also t- told, you should not bother for, worry for your Maintenance. Maintenance. Oh, so much will come, but only take very little. So, Haridas Thakur, he instructed her that now you, there is no need to worry about your maintenance. How you will live, from where your money will come, where will your food come from. Why? Because in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has promised, Ananyas chintayan tomam ye jana paripashate tesham nitya biyuktanam yoga kshema vaham yaham Oh, my dear devotee, if you give your mind exclusively to me and worship me exclusively, thinking of nothing else, giving up all thoughts of your own happiness and your own future in this world, then I promise that I will always think of you. And whatever you have, I will maintain that. And if you need anything, I will personally take it on my back and bring it to you. So there's no need to, wor- to worry about anything. So, Haridas Thakur, when he was saying this, he knew that if one becomes such a pure devotee, Krishna will arrange everything. And many people will come there and give so many things. So he told her, Krishna will give you so many things, but you should not accept them. Only take a little <coughs> food and perhaps sometimes a little cloth, just what you need to, m- to maintain the bare necessities of your life. And go on chanting, Hare Krishna. So then Delhi, you should take bath in Ganges here and worship Tulsi and chant. So giving her these instructions, Haridas Thakur, he departed from that place. And overnight, then that prostitute, she became famous and hundreds of people would come to see, oh, how glorious, a very uh, wicked and sinful person has become such a great devotee in one moment. So just as the prostitute became so famous overnight, then Haridas Thakur, who was even more famous, then he became even more famous uh, for turning the heart of that prostitute. So, in this uh, pastime, there is a very <coughs> wonderful teaching, and that is the power of Harinam and the power of Sadhu Sangha. By associating with the pure devotees of God and chanting the name of God in their company, then very quickly, in one day, two days, three days, one's entire life can be transformed, completely transformed. So, we should always pray to Krishna, Oh Krishna, please give me the association of your pure devotees. And then, having their association, I will surrender at their feet, I will try to serve them and give them all kinds of honor. And by their mercy, they will speak to me, the Krishna Katha, the name of Krishna, 
And in this way, by their mercy and by the mercy of your name, my heart can be purified and I can serve you and love you eternally. Gaur Pramana Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Sat in the marketplace selling her wares. <laughs> 